join me friends as I enter the night cafe uh, lovely little um, uh, VR expert Vincent van Gogh and one of his most famous paintings the night cafe um, so here I am in a room with nice piano being played in the background and uh, the brush strokes of the impressionist artists work even emanating out from the lamps over there. Um, obviously, as with all um, recordings of um, virtual reality games, the 2D that you get on your screen isn't a, uh, doesn't in any way really convey what I'm seeing here in three dimensions. So I can walk around this play area, um, and if I point at the ground, I can teleport. So it's just nice to see this um, area that I can just move around within a painting. Um, even the chap there, he's not really moving and interacting with me. So as I say, it's not an interactive game. Let's see what this old lady has to say for herself. Just pensively sitting there and thinking. Um, Right, let's see what's behind the seat. Let's go in that room over there first, if I can. Oh, bottles and flowers. And there's the piano player. And that's Vincent himself, sitting down and going at his pipe. And he's got two ears here, yeah, so hasn't yet um, chopped off one of them. Can I leave the building? No, I can't. I was probably expecting a bit too much. The music gets louder as I get closer to this pianist. Oh, and there are the sunflowers as well, one of his classic uh, paintings rendered in three dimensions, let's see how close I can get. So I know next time I see this painting, I think I'm going to appreciate, all, appreciate it all the more having uh, explored it in uh, this kind of virtual reality setting. I know it sounds um, a bit uh, like I'm a philistine from that. Oh, I can't even go downstairs. Let's see what's going on in here. Nothing. Little umbrella of some description. That's oh, little secret area. Let's see what's. Let's teleport to it here. There is no blue without yellow and without orange. Vincent van Gogh. Sorry, I had to adjust my headset there, so apologies for any sudden movements. That's nice. Wasn't expecting uh, to see this, so... Um, it's lovely. A little... Um, A toilet or bathroom or lavatory. Can I flush it? That would be amazing if I could. That's nice. That makes me think if I'm, am I able to open that door which was over here again. Let's try that again just behind Vincent. No. Because there's a nice view of outside so it'd be amazing if I could just go into this terrace. Oh, and even there, there's a Vincent van Gogh style uh, night scene. That's really beautiful. So 
So all in all, you know, this is a free experience. And it is amazing how many little experiences like this there are on the um, App Store, um, both for Steam and for Vive Port. And this is where I think the Vive comes into its own, just little things like this which just bring you a nice bit of art in a way that you haven't seen it before. So I'm not going to rate this as a game, but as an experience, given that it's free, I'm going to give it a uh, 10 out of 10, really. Because to me, this is the kind of thing that virtual reality um, an experience that it gives you which nothing else really can apart from seeing this work on its own in a, in a museum or, or art gallery. Great, well thank you for joining me friends and uh, see you later.